Area 51 has spawned more conspiracy theories than perhaps any other military facility in the world. So what is actually known about this secretive place? Area 51 is a U.S. Air Force military installation located at Groom Lake in southern Nevada. It is not accessible to the public and under 24-hour surveillance. Area 51 employees reach the facility by way of airplane. They fly in and out of a restricted terminal at McCarran International Airport on one of several unmarked planes permitted to fly through the airspace above. Adding to the secrecy, satellite imagery of the installation was censored until 2018. As of today, Area 51 is visible on Google Maps. The only confirmed use of the installation is as a flight testing facility. During World War II, the U.S. Army Air Corps used the site as an aerial gunnery range. In 1955, the area was selected by the CIA as a testing site for the Lockheed U-2, a high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. President Dwight D. Eisenhower authorized the testing, which was to be conducted under the code name Project Aquatone. After the U-2 was put into service in 1956, Area 51 was used to develop other aircraft, including the A-12 reconnaissance plane, also known as Oxcart, and the stealth fighter F-117 Nighthawk. On June 25, 2013, the CIA approved the release of declassified documents chronicling the history of the U-2 and Oxcart programs in response to a Freedom of Information Act request. The release of those documents marked the first time that the U.S. government formally acknowledged the existence of Area 51. Since then, not much other information has been forthcoming. We know what you're thinking, what about the aliens? Many people have reported seeing unidentified flying objects in or near Area 51, and the popular image of the place is a secret site for extraterrestrial research. How did that come about? In 1989, a man named Robert Lazar claimed he worked on extraterrestrial technology inside Area 51. Lazar told Las Vegas television reporter George Knapp that he saw autopsy photographs of aliens inside the facility and that the U.S. government used the facility to examine recovered alien spacecraft. Although Lazar himself was discredited, his claims spawned numerous government conspiracy theories, most of which involved extraterrestrial life. According to the CIA, test flights of the U-2 and subsequent military aircraft account for many of the UFO sightings in the area. There is no evidence of extraterrestrial contact at Area 51 or anywhere else. 